you've turned right, then... Do, 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 then? Turn around when possible. What? Then. Turn Bye. left. Okay, and we've got 130 miles guesstimated range. Um, it would be nice if I could actually see. There we go. 457.2 miles. It's about 140, 150 miles there 150 miles back right what have we got today then we've got a bit of a special I'm traveling 150 miles to watch manchester city play chelsea, chelsea. The roundabout second exit this is courtesy of nissan what have we got there tobe oh envelope. hold on what's After in that envelope yards, goes tickets on for what may you ask well for the game Obviously, that's what we got. Two tickets. Go straight on. Um, it's a bit of a, a way of saying thank you, basically, for the uh, the Nissan Leaf blogs. Now, the special was supposed to be combined. We were supposed to be going up in a Nissan Leaf, um, but yesterday, which was Saturday, it was impossible to go and pick up the car, um, and that was bundled in with extended test drive. And I spoke about this in my previous videos. It was supposed to be two specials rolled into one. One was this trip of 150 miles up, 150 miles down, which is approximately six hours worth of driving. Uh, that's just driving um, without a charging. So we're off there now. So this is a bit of a special in the Zoe this time. <laughs> just to explain a bit further, it is um, VIP tickets. So we get to go in the booth <coughs> with about eight people, to 10 people. Um, with food served as well. It's smart dress. We're not oh, dressed smartly at the moment, yes. but we will be. Good. So I'll have a shirt on and a nice smart trousers and smart shoes. Um, and hopefully it'll be a very, very enjoyable time. So it's nine, well, it's five to nine now. I'm supposed to be leaving at nine. Five to nine, kickoff's at four, but lunch is served at 1.30. So we've basically tailored in an hour for charging, stroke, messing Good about. Um, so that should give us plenty of time. Do not want to be late to this once in a lifetime opportunity really we won't be buying vip tickets to a football game again to get in the booth will we no, no. <laughs> not, not probably normal tickets if you could save out your pocket money that's an idea So we're pulling into the services and we're not going to charge because we don't need to. We're just going to get some breakfast. We've got 95 miles left. And look what we got here, another Zoe. I wonder if this is on free vents. we better check. Well, that's where we are so far. We've got 118 miles left to go and it's showing 94 on the guessometer. So it's actually performing really, really well so far. That's just stopped better than it predicted. But as you can see, five degrees C. Um, and I haven't reset any of this. This is just all total, total miles. We're actually parked somewhere. Don't you love it when you park somewhere and you're in a car park in the middle of nowhere and someone pulls up alongside you and they park right next to you? Parking spaces, parking spaces, parking spaces, parking spaces, parking spaces, parking space. Look at that. See? You love it. Right, let's get some food. Seventy-seven percent. Oh, fits snugly. OK, 
Okay, well that's just done one charge, just popped in, done one charge. Uh, we've just seen a bit of the live view footage, we can't film and do the live view at the same time, sadly. Um, so, we just done a charge back up to 84%, I think it was, um, 83, 84%. We got 91 on the GOM, uh, got 60 miles to go. So, uh, stadium, here we go. Um, so the Tom Tom has gone completely mad. This is presumably a new road, so it doesn't know where it is. Okay, well we're back on target, which is a good thing. So it just went off target for about, I don't know, a mile, which is a bit weird. Uh, and now we're back on, presumably it's just a brand new road. And it's not on the Tom Tom system. Got here at 10 past uh, one. I uh, got 44 miles left on the GOM. There is no charging here um, on site. We just asked someone. It's basically parked in a massive car park, gravel car park. Um, so that's where we're at. That's time, how far we've gone, and what we got left. So we just pick up a charge on the way back down um, on the motorway. All done. All done. And if you want to know the answer to the question, can you get changed in the back of a Zoe? Yeah, you can. You can get changed in the back of a Zoe. That's I'm proof. Get into the lovely smelling fresh new car. No rush, because the queues, it is rammed. Great experience. Thank you, Nissan, for the hospitality. Right, 37 miles left on it. Uh, done. What are we saying? Three degrees. Now we need to head back home. We need to obviously find a charger now. Can't get back home because it's not of power, so do you want to add a charging station? Yes. So what we got at the moment, we got the sat nav, it's just not speaking to me at all. Uh, the volume's up, so I, don't, I haven't really got a clue half the time, especially in the centre of town, trying to actually navigate your way through. Uh, it's just not talking. I've got the, the volume's up, there's nothing wrong there. I can turn it up even more. As you can see, the volume is there. I have no idea why it's not speaking to me. 
so it's a bit disconcerting. And we are heading to Nutsford Services, which is taking me to. It gave me a warning saying none of the charging cables are the same type as this car, so that's a bit worrying. So I've gone to Zap Map and had a Zap Map and had a quick look, and that seems to say that both of them were down. Hopefully not. So we're pulling into Nutsford Services, where Zapmat says that both of them, it says are both down, but on, only on the Chadamo side. So what we are hoping is that the Type 2 is up. The two should be two units. Open it both up, and then we're all good. We've got 19 miles left on the GOM there. We need to be on this, um, basically, uh, the whole time up to 100%. Uh, let me have a look, see if any of them are free vend. Okay, got to pay for this one. So, 19 miles on the old gomp. And I've got to initiate this using the app. I've never used the app with these before, so I'll try it now. Okay, and she is charging, allegedly. It's showing naught at the moment, so I'm not sure what's going on there. Um, but let's have a quick look what we got here. So 15% and showing time to complete uh, one hour 40. Um, and I don't think that's working because it's saying naught. I am not convinced by that at all. Which is slightly worrying. It's making all the noises. It's certainly making the noises, but it should can't be dispensing 0.0, .0 kilowatt hours, can it? Good here. Uh, this is buzzing away as if it was taking a charge and flashing So it still says 0.0, .0 so I don't think that's working unless this is going up 16% it is so that's working It's gone up. Yeah, it hasn't it? It's gone up. Let's just make sure it actually says 17 and then I'll believe it. It's showing it going in the car's being good but the readout from Ecotricity charger is not changing at all. 17. 17. Right, okay, we can get on with something now and have some food and stuff. The time now is 19.32, three degrees C. So we've got to stop here because we don't think we could have made it to the next services because it was about 10 miles more than the GOM was given out. And I don't really fancy being stuck on the motorway. <laughs> oh, right. So it's amazing how long it takes to actually go queue up, get food, go to the toilet, come back out, eat the food. And so it says we've got one hour, 10 minutes left. So we have been about 39 minutes, something like that, I think. Not reading anything. So yeah, we've been 40 minutes now. It's reading nothing. So I assume we won't get charged per kilowatt because it's reading out nothing. So we've got the washing machine on, the pre-soak is in progress. And we're at 67%, the charge is going to end any moment now, theoretically. So the charge has ended at 69%. Um, and it said, you can't read it from there, but it said we got to 47 minutes. So we went from 15% to 69% in 47 minutes. 47 minutes, 0.0, .0 kilowatt hours distributed okay and i'll just see if i can kick start it again okay well i'll plug the car back in but we're in a problem now where i can't do anything with this app so this does nothing this does nothing if you say stop session early you say yes i would like to and it errors out can't find session so i'm just gonna have to kill the app and then reopen it to get it to, to work properly okay well that's worked um ongoing checks it says the car is charging and we're back up and charging again so um interesting and it's still now charging, it's not costing anything per kilowatt, so at the moment this is free. So the preheat, we did this on a live stream. For the climate control to actually heat up your car, you need to press this button down here. Uh, let me do this, if I can get the light on. 
we worked out, you press that with some help from several people, uh, and then you go to, you want this to be heated up by 8.30, which is now, um, and my watch is already on, and it says 20, 23. So I'd already set this. Now, what we struggle with is that actually this comes on, but it just blows out cold air or doesn't come on at all. But if you open the door and then shut the door, it then says pre-soak pre in progress and then it starts pumping out hot air. So I'm not sure what that's all about, but there we go. So just trying the R-Link store while we're at it. Um, says we're from the UK, that's correct. Australia, 80 quid if I want the Australian maps. So I was just looking at user profiles. So <clears throat> looking at Twitter, I'm gonna create a user profile on here, user one. Oh, username. Should we say my username is Ian? And then next. Oh, wow. I can't. I've got to choose my avatar. Uh, yeah, that's definitely me. Let's have a look at more of them. That's me there. That cool dude there. Okay, this is my Twitter account now. So I'm going to connect up Twitter to my Arlink system. E hey, service unavailable. Your tweets could not be retrieved. Profile. Service unavailable, your profile could not be. Uh, what? What a load of rubbish. But anyway, it's all definitely right. Just logged out to my account on my iPhone, double check the password, and log back in again. Still don't work. So that's pointless. I'm going to set up email, see if that works. And uh, that just says authentication denied, too many attempts, retry in five minutes. Tried three times. Definitely the right credentials. Just tried it on my iPhone again, could log in just fine. So, no idea. Given up on that as well. On the plus side, that's burnt through some time. Um, so the time is now 20.42. We have been on that charger for 20 minutes. And we will see there where that takes us, basically, 86%. We'll see where we need to stop, because I don't think that'll take us all the way. Um, in a minute, I'll try and see if I can end the charge with the Ecotricity app first. Okay, and when I've gone to the Ecotricity app, it says uh, the pump isn't talking to us. Please check pump screen to ensure your car is charging, otherwise start a new session. Okay. Right, well, it says it's produced nothing. Haven't been going very long. Yes, I want to end it earlier. I bet this doesn't come back correctly, does it? Oh, it has stopped it. Okay. Wonders will never cease. 123 miles. Bit annoying, because distance back is 129. Right. I think, Toby, we should just stop for another... With a few minutes until it pops up to 130 at least. That way we can get home. So I'll start a charge again um, and just sit here for another 10 minutes and we're job done and we can get on our way and get all the way home without stopping again. Just start another session. We're charging up to about 92%, something like that. Um, and that should be enough to get us all the way home without stopping again. That'll be good to get home on just one charge. I quite like that. It's 20.45 now. So we've been here now, what, an hour and 15? Something like that. So about another 10 minutes and we'll be all done. 45 minutes of that was us going in, going to the toilet, queuing up for food, eating our food and coming back out and then sitting in the car and just double checking the app and then that was it really. And the remainder of that time has been just sat here waiting. So it's not, not a huge waste of time. 40 to 45 minutes of it was us just just being us, which we would have done at any services anyway. Um, so that's quite good. This now is extra wasted time, if you call it wasted. But it looks like we're getting free travel. We had free travel on the way up here. <laughs> no charge for the charge. And it's all naught now. So this whole journey, 300 miles just over, has been totally free, apart from the initial charge. Because it was we left on 100%, so that would have been about four quid, something like that. So in no time at all, it's gone up to 90% and then it's slowed down. So that 40 minutes actually, so when it said one hour 40 when we plugged in, really 40 minutes of that one hour 40 is, well, the remaining 10% basically seems to look like it's going to be another 40 minutes for the final 10%. So that's brilliant. So charging up to 90 is absolutely fine um, for traveling along. So if you've got a Zoe or you're thinking to get one, just charge up to 90% unless you desperately need to eat that last little bit out. Like me, I'm gonna charge a 92 to be sure that it's gonna give me that little extra um, just so I can get home, no worries at all, and just plug it in and charge it home overnight. So that is pretty sweet. So the, the charging time up to that point is, is pretty quick. 
Um, it's pretty rapid for the amount of charge it's actually giving, the amount of range it will give you. Okay, 136 miles, let's boot her up. That should be enough to get us home. All being well, goodbye Mr. Ecotricity Charger. Just stopping in for five minutes to uh, charge up. Just get it all in, get the app going, a quick 10 minutes charge. Okay, what we're gonna do is just charge it up to probably 65%. Just gonna grab a cup, oh, what's the time now? It's 22.01, it's just been put on charge. Let's say five, five minutes, we'll stop for. Just grab five to make sure we definitely get home. So what it's getting currently, um, it's getting about 130 miles. It's almost all motorway, so it's all high speed driving. Uh, temperature currently is 2C. So yeah, we're gonna, gonna get about 130 miles for a charge, um, approximately. Well, it was about 92%, no, 93%, I think, when I finished charging last time. That would have given 130 miles. Um, so yeah, it's probably, probably around about 150, 140, 150 it's giving if I charged 100%, but of course I'm not going all the way to the top because it takes ages that last little bit. So it's going to get another two or three kilowatt hours back in, in five minutes. I'll come back to you when we're at uh, five minutes. Oh, Costa. No, I can't. I don't want to be spending the money on uh, hot chocolates and things of such nature. Boom. So one thing I've noticed, it's not charging me a connection fee. So I don't know if that's something they've changed. Some of you guys who've used these a lot will know the answer to that. I haven't used them for probably a year or so, if not longer. So the pricing structure keep changing, but they're just charging me per kilowatt hour. Um, I haven't been charged a connection fee for any of them so far. And um, this is the first time I've actually been charged for it. Um, but <laughs> I'm only gonna be doing five minutes of charge. So it's, um, I think it's 35p, I think it said, per kilowatt hour. So this is going to be next to, next to nothing. So we're at five minutes um, and it's 2.4 kilowatt hours it's been charging for. So let's get going. I'm going to quickly uh, turn this off and uh, get on the go. Okay, and that charge cost 81p to get two and a half kilowatts in. 81p for a five minute stop. It's not too bad. And I've got 62% charge. 85 miles on the GOM, got 77.4 miles to go. So this is what I like to call close, 16 miles there. And on the GOM and I got 18.7 on here. So I, I've got a deficit. Okay, I am pulling all the tricks in the book now. Um, I've got the speedometer set at 40 miles an hour. as a speed restriction and we got 15 miles to go, 14 on the GOM now. Uh, so speed limit is set at 40 to try and get around, <laughs> getting stranded. Yeah. So 14.9, I'm winning it back, I am winning it back. I'm off the motorway of course, I'm on a dual carriageway now. So close to home, don't want to screw it up. Okay, so that de deficit is down, 8.9, and we got 11 on the gong. So, yeah, getting there, but we got a killer hill of course. Killer hill is gonna bring it right back level again. So I am hypermiling this bad boy. Uh, the fan is off. Really stretching every single little thing out we've got here. Doing everything I can to make sure we get back home. There is not enough power to reach the selected destination. 
Okay, we've got the low battery warning at nine miles. Right. We are just starting Killer Hill now, and this is where it all changes. We can make or break this cam. <laughs> what I think what I'll do is I will do a 45 minute charge and then head on out and then do another 30 minute charge. If I'd done that, it'd be quicker because obviously it slows down towards the more charge it gets. So what I should have done is from 15% charge to say 70, bombed along and then done one more charge for about 30, 40 minutes. And I've gained the, max, the fastest amount of charge I possibly could have done. Um, as opposed to dragging it out to 92, 93 or whatever it was. Um, I would have been better off to save time doing a shorter charge, but another one sooner. Six miles on the gone now, three miles to go. Three miles one. Oh, you must charge your car. Do you want a select charge station? No. Okay, six miles on it now, but obviously it's coming down to five. I'm gonna lose all readouts in a second, I should imagine. Five miles on the gone. 2.5 miles of left. So your miles just dropping off. So what do we start at? We hit the hill eight. And we've only done half a mile. <laughs> this is ridiculous from such a long journey. Coming in so close. It's all partly to do with the experience of driving the electric car. Trying to get the charge just right. Um, but for speed four miles, 2.1 ring. Um, but I should have done that. Should have done 45 minutes, 30 minutes, and that'll be fine. Still climbing. Yes, I'm into a 30 mile an hour limit. Yes, row the hill. Woo! Okay, as you can see, <laughs> and we got 0.7 of a mile to go. Let's charge this one up. What we got percentage wise? What's it say we got? Oh. Not to one percent. <laughs> okay, you well, are 28 hours and 40 minutes to recharge this <laughs> on the slow charge. Wow, that's a difference from the uh, rapids, isn't it? That is the journey. It's actually really, really good. Um, yeah, much, much quicker. I mean, we got stuck in coming out of the football stadium, which pushed the time up massively to get home. Massive jams all the way through, obviously, in, in most in through most of Manchester, which is pretty crazy. But, yeah. Um, and then we had a 30-mile-an-hour limit roadworks, which is a bit of a pain, to be fair. And that was Birmingham way, that was. So, um, yeah, we're anyway, back home. Time for bed. Until next time. Oh, and it's 7.42 in the morning and it's charged 26%.